What's up, adventures? Got a mail call video for you guys today. Straight from Nacogdoches, Texas, and Mr. Jim Egner at TK560. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Jim, he uh, runs a 3D printing shop on Etsy where he makes all sorts of reproduction G.I. Joe items as well as some original designs. Uh, Jim was a guest on the Paul Knapp show several weeks ago where he showcased some of his 3D printed items. And uh, off camera, Jim also shared with us some upcoming top secret projects that he has in the works there at TK560. Funny story about Jim. Uh, I've known Jim in passing for several years now, uh, mainly from Facebook and Etsy. And uh, for the longest time on any video where I'd talk about Jim, I would call him Jim Edinger for some reason. Now, a lot of you guys out there know the Mandela effect, where you imagine something differently than what it actually is. Well, I experienced the Mandela effect with names, um, whether it be professional athletes, professional 3D printers, uh, <laughs> even kids that my son plays with. Um, yeah, I'm not great at it, but I try to get better. But uh, I called him that for years, and I believe uh, James Peacock brought it to my attention, and uh, I corrected myself. So it said uh, Jim Egner, by the way, guys, and uh, I just wanted to say that's a funny story. I just, uh, I don't know why I do stuff like that sometimes. I just get, <clears throat> excuse me, going in my head, and, you know, I mispronounce names. But anyways, Jim, uh, I ordered some items from Jim right after the Paul Knapp uh, live stream that we did, and... They just came in, and Jim sent me some other items as well. So let's do an unboxing here and see what else, what's in this baby. Got my handy-dandy razor knife. I've been practicing my unboxing and opening skills after watching uh, Adam and Cody do theirs. I'm trying to be a little more clean with the uh, things that I do. So anyways, what I ordered from Jim, I ordered a set of the late issue tent pulls for the uh, G.I. Joe White or uh, Tiger Hunt tent, uh, a magnetic flaw detector battery replica because I have a magnetic flaw detector without the battery pack. And I also ordered a 3D printed Jeep antenna for my upcoming, um, I guess, upgrade of my uh, G.I. Joe Sasquatch hunting Jeep. I've uh, got a video coming for that. So these are the items I got from Jim. So let's take a look at this. All right, so these are great. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and bust them out of the bag, and um, we'll take a look at them, and then think, I think I'll grab the actual uh, items that uh, these are going to go to, and we'll actually do a, a fitting of those as well with this video. So first up <clears throat> are the tip poles for the Tiger Hunt, White Tiger Hunt. Tent. Now these are incredibly uh, hard to find vintage, and if you do find them vintage, they're usually melt plastic. The plastic's got some melt marks, and they're uh, kind of beat up. Uh, Jim has done a fantastic job in recreating these tent pools. Um, <clears throat> in fact, these are probably better than the originals. I would assume they're stronger, uh, more versatile. Uh, and uh, this would be a great thing I think anybody could get. There's a ton of those tents out there without these pools. And uh, I'll probably get a few more of these from Jim because I think I have a few of those tents. But this was something I've had on my uh, cart on Etsy for a long time. Um, I just never got around to ordering them because I had other stuff going on, uh, other priorities as far as customization and stuff goes. But I'm so impressed and happy with these. Uh, these are great. So we'll do a we'll do a tent setup as well with these on this video. So also the magnetic flaw detector battery. I bought a magnetic flaw detector off Craigslist and a lot of GI Joe stuff several years ago, and um, I've always wanted to get this part. It's, it's hard to find. I've had a couple opportunities to buy it on eBay, but I just didn't want to. Uh, shell out a ton of money for a, a glorified Lego brick. Um, I've thought about making one myself. 
Uh, I know Matt Squatch Customs, I thought he was going to cast one, but I got off of Facebook before I could really uh, get a hold of him on that. And uh, lo and behold, one day when I was uh, getting an update of all Jim's items and his update to his shop, he had new items and this is one of the things in there. So I instantly saved that to my cart and uh, this is great. Um, I have a magnetic flower taker, like I said, and this will actually complete it. So that's super dope. The next thing I ordered from Jim is something, um, it's an antenna. I believe it's a replica of the old Jeep antenna uh, for the five-star Jeep. And it fits in, I think, one of the, I'm sure, I think it fits in a slot in the back, maybe. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with it. But I wanted an antenna for my Jeep, my Sasquatch hunting Jeep. So uh, this is going to be retrofitted. Probably won't fit it the way it's supposed to be fitted on my Jeep. Um, but I wanted to get an antenna and Jim made these cool 3D printed ones. So this will be super dope to add to my Sasquatch hunting Jeep. So this is going to be an exciting thing as well. Um, all these items, again, are 3D printed by Jim in his, uh, in his shop. So we're going to pause the video. I believe there's another package on the way from Jim uh, that he sent me. And um, we'll pause the video, we'll come back, and uh, if that other package is here, we'll open it. And uh, we'll also take these uh, pieces here and put them on their proper G.I. Joe equipment. All right, gang, welcome back. So in addition to the uh, items that I purchased off Jim, uh, Jim told me he wanted to send me some uh, misprints and some other items that uh, I inquired about like what he did with all the misprints and uh, all the stuff that happens when he uh, has like a failed print. And Jim said he would send me a few of those. I did not expect Jim to send me a few of those. <laughs> these are two giant boxes. I was uh, shocked when these were on the front porch. Uh, this is awesome. So uh, I guess this is going to be a bonus uh, part of this video we're gonna not only unbox some cool items Jim has for sale but we're gonna unbox some uh, of Jim's uh, other misprint items I can't wait to look at all these he actually messaged me and told me that he was going to send these to me I just thought he was gonna send a few I really appreciate this Jim I don't know what to say right now I'm, uh, I'm kind of in shock so yeah, let's open these up and take a look at this stuff. He thought I could use some of this, um, and he's probably right. I, I definitely love discarded stuff. Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, Jim shared a lot of really cool items that he was has in the works, and uh, some of those are amazing. And I was going to hit Jim up one of these days. I'll just go ahead and say it on video. He's looking at making some uh, some larger scale um, items, but I would love to see Jim um, do a 1-6 scale uh, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Skyhawk, but in Adventure Team Yellow. Um, somewhat a long time ago, back in the early 2000s in the uh, Trenches Forum, I believe, uh, made their own 1-6 scale G.I. Joe Skyhawk for their adventure team. And I think that's a cool vehicle. And I think you could take that vehicle design and uh, kind of fiddle with it a little bit and make a really cool adventure team solo exploration vehicle. So there's an idea, Jim. If you ever get around to doing that, let me know. I'll buy one. Holy smokes, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm... This is wild. Okay, so we've got a cage here. Holy smokes. Uh, similar to what Paul Knapp had. This is great. I'm, I'm absolutely speechless on here. I'm getting ready to do my own G.I. Joe base. So we've got a cage here. Uh, I can't wait to put this thing together and see what it's all about. i got a couple photo stores I'm getting ready to start. And we've got some, uh, some other items that are, are awesome that Jim has sent. Uh, we've got a misprint for a uh, cool landing strip for the helicopter. I could definitely uh, do something with this for sure. 
I was just thinking about this one of these the other day, Jim, um, for one of my helicopters that I did customs on. I was going to order a set of struts from you at some point in time, uh, but now you've sent me this uh, misprint. I can probably get this thing up and going and see how it works out. This is great. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, yeah. I got a... A couple uh, mis or uh, I guess prints, discarded prints for the uh, jet pack. We will definitely do something with this. Um, I have ideas already blown through my head. And then we've got portions for the awesome MSV add-on kit. This is dope. I can't wait to look at this and figure something out. This is awesome, man. I could definitely do st something with that. As well as the portion here that he is uh, creating for the, uh, the back of it. This is great. These are so cool, man. I can't wait to, uh, to fiddle with these and figure all this out. This is just a lot of cool stuff. Now I am saving up a war chest from some of the stuff that I saw that Jim had that he shared with us to uh, purchase from him when he gets his designs finalized. And I also plan at some point in time, I'm grabbing a couple other things from him too. I don't know if you guys are, understand, but I have a schedule I do things on and uh, you know, it's a pretty tight schedule I try to adhere to. So I buy things as I need them, but uh, there's several things of gems that I can't wait to grab. So here's some other discarded stuff. Wow. Holy smokes. This is just a plethora of stuff. So I believe this is a portion to the cage for the um, mobile or the uh, big trapper, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure something out for that. Cool. Bunch of discarded items. Here, this is great. Bunch of just cool stuff that I can use. This is all probably going to go towards my modular base I'm building. I can take this stuff and I can retrofit maybe some paper panels into this to make it a computer of some type. Uh, but I'll definitely do a video of this and um, figure all that out. Oh, cool. Dog sled. Uh, those doors for the uh, MSV add-on portion. Pretty cool, uh, I believe this is an Action Man uh, canister of some kind. I've seen this on Jim's site. This is awesome. Now this is dope. So this is the wing portion for the uh, Avenger Pursuit Craft, which I have two of these. Um, so this is interesting. I could probably think of something for that as well. Wow, pontoons for the um, pontoon for the uh, helicopter kit that Jim makes. Uh, great, Egner, twenty nineteen, super awesome. This is a cool design, by the way. If you guys haven't checked that out, um, I don't know if Jim still has those available, but those are cool. We've got some other rad stuff here that would be great to use. Just a plethora of just items uh, helicopter uh tail section another different wings i believe for the urban helicopter set this is unbelievable oh cool uh stand for the um searchlight or the recordless rifle for the desert jeep these this is unbelievable jim i uh Oh, and also a bunch of these little, oh, these are cool. I definitely have an idea for all these. This is great. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm actually stunned by all this stuff that Jim sent me. Uh, I owe you one big time, buddy. I really appreciate this. Um, I know you're a big vintage G.I. Joe guy, so... Uh, here after my workshop's done this summer, I'll uh, I'll keep you in mind. I have I have uh, something I might 
I might just uh, put together for you. So this is great, guys. Um, shout out to Jim Egner, TK560, uh, for sending this stuff to me here at the Skunk Works. Uh, we can't wait to uh, go through all this in detail and figure out what kind of projects we would like to uh, customize and make with all these discarded prints. This is a fantastic unboxing. I really hope you guys liked it. Um, what an awesome, awesome thing. Alright gang, welcome back. So, spoiler alert. This is the actual first time I've ever set up uh, this style of tent with these type of pulls. So, um, it's pretty easy to uh, to do and to learn. Um, it's really, really just a, basically a basic plug and play uh, type scenario where you just kind of figure out through pull array. Now, you can actually get the directions for these on, um, I believe... Uh, the internet, uh, you can find the old directions for the White Tiger tent set. But this is great. These work fantastic. Like I said, I think these 3D printed ones are far superior to the actual vintage ones. Uh, especially when you consider um, you need a, a plastic that's a little bit flexible and a little bit more durable than those old ones. Especially over time, those uh, those polymers and those plastics tend to break down. I think Jim talked about that as well in the live stream. But this tent looks super dope. Uh, this is a great. I, I definitely will order up some more of these from Jim. These are awesome. So they look great on the tent. And uh, for those of you guys out there who do have this White Tiger tent, and you've made your own pulls, great, but you should definitely consider using Jim's 3D printed tent pulls as a viable option. And of course, here's the uh, magnetic flaw detector that I mentioned that I got off of Craigslist and a lot of G.I. Joe stuff. Now, this thing hasn't seen the light of day in about a minute or two, but again, you can see I was missing the battery pack component to that, which is right here, and it just snaps up in there like so. Just like the old vintage one would snap up in there and it uh, it sits right there. And uh, you just plug it in and then you use the <clears throat> modules, communications modules, I guess, or headset modules uh, in the small little slots here. Um, they basically just fit in there like so so it's a great reproduction item um, by jim i'm happy i have this now it completes my magnetic flaw detector i know when jim had talked about being a big collector he had talked about being a guy who only likes the vintage stuff which is which is interesting because he's such a great uh, producer of reproduction items but i'm kind of the same way as him um, I, I like to find all the vintage stuff to complete sets but it's getting harder and harder to find those in good condition. And sometimes you just got to settle. And uh, the thing I really love about what people like Jim and uh, Brad Curry and Sean Huckster and Ben Minenberg are all doing is these guys are starting to come up with their own original designs, which I really am interested in because the cool thing about it is, is you're buying a piece of someone's imagination. And I think that is one of the dopest things anybody can own. Something that somebody dreamed up and created and made as their own. And Jim, like I said, has started to make uh, some of his own creations, his own, you know, intellectual properties come to life in the form of 3D printed items. So I think that's really awesome. Um, definitely give Jim's page a check out. I think he's doing some fantastic work. Um, I plan on uh, doing a live stream one-on-one -on -one with him later on this uh, summer to see where he's at on some of the projects that he shared with us off camera. I'm really excited about several of those. Um, I loved uh, sitting and talking to him and picking his brain. We probably could have done a three-hour live stream, um, but unfortunately, you know, all of us are <clears throat> don't have that much time. So I'm definitely looking forward to catching up with him as, again. So anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I love all these items. I think you should definitely get on TK560's Etsy. I'll put a link in the description below and definitely give Jim a shout out and check out some of his products because I don't think you'll be disappointed. These are amazing products. So guys, I hope everybody's doing great out there. 
Uh, hit the like and subscribe button, share these videos, reach out to Jim, reach out to me and the other members of the Axis of Awesome. And in the meantime, keep living the adventure and cheers.